guys a look at the weekly bubbles to start with it's going to be a short video because there's not that much to talk about because we're not going to produce a signal until tomorrow and um, because we've got FOMC today and we've got ECB tomorrow so I, I'm looking at something after and we can wait for the dust to settle what's interesting about the bubbles is that we're seeing a lot of misbehavior um, so the dollar should be larger and the pound and the yen and the reason for it is that the retail guys, the you know the dumb money in speech marks, they're short, but they've added short, okay, and because of that, price should go up to punish them, but it's not. Price is going down, and it's going down, and it's going down because the bubble size is small. So it tells us payday, they shorted it, and yet the performance is poor. And likewise with these two, so it's payday for those three currencies. Likewise with the Aussie, they're long, um, but yet the price is increasing, so they're getting paid. So it's definitely a sit on the hands day today. Uh, it could be worth having a look at this website if you don't know it already. It works quite well, um, especially with the bubbles. So we would know that the Kiwi is obviously the strongest against the dollar, and then there's the CAD. So the CAD does make sense, right? because that's the strong, strongest cell and there we go and uh, so you can just use this in conjunction with the bubbles and uh, yeah so it's quite frustrating so the dollar should be performing better so if we were to look at this sentimentally that USD should come across it has to, do, it has to defeat dollar Swiss that needs to do better dollar yen needs to do better and the euro dollar needs to fall and then it will, what will happen is it will carve its way through these and then sentimentally it should be done this way pounds okay where it is yen needs to move too yen could be moving so hopefully that makes sense so you know because of the sentiment and they shouldn't really be getting paid because it's not friday and usually on friday you know it's to come back to the casino on monday here's some chips enjoy your weekend Currently at the moment they're getting paid quite a bit, and uh, so yeah, there's, it's quite frustrating. So it's a sit on the hands uh, currently, and then we'll look at a uh, notification tomorrow. I'm not sure about CAD yen. I'm not sure about Kiwi yen either, um, because that is actually a, a short signal. But we can see the Kiwi is doing well, and yet the yen's performing poorly. So unless there's a reversal, then it's going to be a bad notification. And this is why I want to QA them, and uh, so it looks like a payday for you know for quite a few things. Uh, there's payday here, there, there, there. This is mixed, and this is mixed. Um, I think that's it. I think I don't really need to talk too much more. The ten-year yield fell five percent yesterday. It did really drop. There was quite a bit of panic. Um, we had some pretty tough data out of Europe and America. Uh, the, the RBA were quite dovish and um, yeah, the US yields took a tumble after the investors who had bet that the Fed would tighten its mon monetary policy sooner um, they were forced to bail out on their position so it looks like some of the big money you know, had to bail so um, it's worth noting there were some scary well, fear, um, fearful stories about China and Taiwan um, and also the Bank of Japan were uh, thinking about changing their inflation target forecast. So all sort of things sort of like culminated yesterday, and we saw quite a drop on some pairs. There's I'll show you Aussie yen, and what I'll do is I'll probably just wrap up because there's not much to say. Uh, I mean, we we're a buy at the high level, but they went long. So dynamically, it's not really in agreement with the static. But there's the big move on the back of that fearful narrative. Admittedly, okay, the S&P did have to fall because we had uh, seven days, eight days, back-to-back, -back, you know, consolidative days. So uh, it could just be a technical retracement. And we are uh, bullish ABCD. So, I mean, really, this is definitely not in conjunction with the bubbles. So the uh, payday for the bubbles and it's not in agreement with the static, so a bit tricky. 
I'll be back tomorrow and we hopefully we'll have a clearer picture and currently the way things are standing that these might be uh, potentially bad notifications because of the fundamentals because we're risk on and these shouldn't be performing well in a risk on environment okay uh, because at the big picture we know we're risk on um, so the pound should could be a good one but you'd want these two to d deviate away from the pound so um, just to wrap up with where we are a little bit of payday today with the retail guys which is fine but it is frustrating and just to keep an eye on that post that I put on the private channel about the 10 year yield there's a little bit of decoupling with S&P so um, yeah so I guess I'll just wrap up and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow so um, let's see how we go